Let's go over what cards are busted right now in Marvel Snap. The metagame has had time to settle. We have had a decent amount of time since the last balance patch. We have seen the cards that have risen to the top. Let's go over what they are and what nerfs I would give them to bring them a little bit down in power, make them a little bit less overtuned. Let's get into it. I think the first one that we should take a look at is Angela. This card is practically an auto include in most decks. It is the highest power card for a two drop almost most of the time when you get um, at least three cards played on it. You can even get four cards played on it with uh, Nightcrawler and some other cards as well. So this card is definitely very powerful currently. I think instead of just straight nerfing this card, I think it could be rebalanced. Because um, I don't think that it is um, incredibly overpowered to the point that it's like hurting the meta in a really terrible way. But I do think that it is just a standout above other cards, a little bit overtuned. Um, so really it's the high end of this card, I think, that really gives it, it power. Where it's starting out with like 3 and 5 power with the first two cards is not that overpowered. So what I would do is I would keep the energy cost the same because I think it's a this card really... He benefits from being a two drop and that's just like really in tune with the whole point of the card playing cards after it is played out. But I think you can rebalance it and maybe buff the starting power to be three power. Um, but then for the actual ability, bring it down to plus one power, which will keep those first two cards that you play pretty much in line with what it is currently. So it'll go to four power with the first card you play, five power, which is the same with the second card you play. But then anything past that is going to be uh, a little bit nerfed from before so you're going to go to six power and then you go to seven power which was the old three power if you were to get that fourth card played on there somehow like through nightcrawler i think that will put angela in a really good state the next card up is devil dinosaur i think this card might be the best card in the game it is quite possibly the best it definitely is up there it is one of the most used cards in the game it is something you get early access to which is actually good for the game i think to have early access to a strong card that you can compete with a lot of other things but with that it ends up dominating most of the meta game especially with how overtuned this card is for a five drop it outperforms most six drop cards which causes the power spike much earlier with moon girl you play two of these and it's just like playing two six drops um, so i think the easiest way to nerf this card would not be by changing the ability, the ongoing to be plus one power with maybe adding some base to it. I do think that the easiest way to nerf this card um, would be to just change it to be a six drop and then keep everything else the same. Uh, this way, um, the power of the card is in line with what you would expect from a six drop. You're getting six power 15 most of the time with this card if you're playing on moon girl or any other cards that are generating cards in your hand being six drop you could technically add maybe like one power to this card i do think keeping it at three power plus two and having it be a six drop is not enough of a nerf that this card is killed but i think it's enough that this card becomes more in line with what you would expect from a high power unit that can get up to 17 power the next card up that deserves a bit of a nerf would be Cosmo. Cosmo has one of these issues where it is uncounterable and it is the source of countering most other countering cards. So if you want to play an Enchantress or a Shang-Chi onto a lane, Cosmo completely shuts it down. It shuts down complete on reveal strategies. You drop a Wong in a lane, Cosmo shuts that down. You drop any sort of destroy card, you drop this on that lane, it stops the destroying as well. So Cosmo is a bit powerful for being a three drop. I think the easiest way to nerf this card is just to make it a four drop and keep everything else the same. This would mean that it is coming down a little bit later. You're not able to stop as many strategies if you have to play out um, this card later in the game. It means you can't combo with as many other bigger cards like a three drop you would have to play a two drop or less with it, um, which makes it a little bit more in line with what you would expect from other tech cards like Shang-Chi and Enchantress. Um, and it is 
possibly one of the more powerful ones out of those where it doesn't quite remove power from the other side so maybe not as good as them it does stop entire strategies from happening so i think making this four energy would be in line with what we'd expect from a tech card speaking of tech cards i think the next card up that could use a nerf is shang chi this card is almost an auto include in most decks nowadays because it can just really shift the power of the game with the game really mattering who wins on turn six and you want to surprise your opponent shang chi delivers that most of the time so one of the best ways to win eight cubes in a game is to hold shang chi and blow up your opponent's big minions on the last turn so to negate how much power this has i think similar to cosmo um, since this is more powerful than most of the other tech cards, I would suggest raising its energy cost instead of changing its ability or its power, and I would just raise it up to five. That would make it a little bit harder to add power to your lane with Shang-Chi, so you couldn't drop two drops with it on turn six. You'd have to only drop one drops with it, which would make it a little bit less powerful. That way you can keep all the other techs the same and still have that same big swing, but not as much power coming with it and i think this is a little bit better than maybe dropping down its own power I think if you were to change maybe the nine or more power to like 10 or more power you're kind of locking out a lot of um, cards that could be problematic in the future if they didn't have a counter like shang chi next up we have a card that has been dominating the meta right now and that's arrow this card is just a great card to play whenever you have uh, two locations one already Whenever you have a lot of power out there, you can use this on the final turn to shut down your opponent's tech cards like Shang-Chi so that they can't do it to a lane and you pull it over as long as you have priority. However, this card itself cannot be Shang-Chi'd, so it only has eight power, so it's in that perfect range where it is powerful but not too powerful that it can't be killed. Um, it really shuts down on reveal um, game plans things like Odin's or on Wong's to pull cards off of it so it doesn't get that extra value. Um, overall, this card, if you're not predicting it, it really tricks the opponent, gives you eight cubes a lot of the times on final turns. It's stronger than a lot of six drops. However, I would recommend keeping this at a five drop since it does create a lot of cool plays on turn five. It's actually less powerful on turn five, I would say, most of the time. So making it a six drop, doesn't really nerf the card that much it just removes some of the flexibility and cool plays you can do i think it could be just slightly tuned down by just keeping it at the same energy cost however bringing down the power level to a seven that would make it slightly less powerful but still be able to be fun and cool and just create some cool moments in the game overall and then just keeping the card text exactly the same. I don't think that needs to be changed. I think it is a fun card to play, but just slightly too powerful right now. The next card a lot of people say is the best card in the game. I still think it's between this and Devil Dinosaur, but Sarah creates some really big turns that really can stump your opponent. When you can save up a lot of power for the last turn, that really is what this game is all about, and Sarah really enables that. So having your cards all reduced by one allows you to play out so many more cards. However, I don't think that this ability should change because that would kind of really alter the way that um, this card works in general. And if you were to change like the minimum up to two or something different like that, it would really impact what is possible. A lot of the two drops then would be worthless in a Sarah deck, which is what is fun to play with Sarah a lot of the time, since that allows you to add a lot of power. So I think one of the better ways to bring this in line is to just bring the power level of Sarah down. So keeping the energy cost the same, because you can't make it a six, because then it would be a worthless card. You can't make it a four, because that's a buff. So you have to keep it the same. And then the power, I would say bring it down to three, maybe even two, but four I don't think would be a big enough nerf. Three would make it so that you're playing this out and it's not adding that much more power to your board before your big turn. That way your opponent has a chance to really catch up. It brings it in line with like Leech, which is considered a bad card right now. Next up is a card that I personally believe is just slightly overpowered. I think it's just barely on the line. It is a really good card that 
really uh, makes it difficult for your opponent to win on the last turn if they're behind or even if they're just slightly ahead and that's leader there are definitely cards that you can tech into your deck that play around leader things like shang which is in most decks leader doesn't win against if they're able to kill one of your cards but if you're playing a really solid deck ones that aren't being exposed to shang uh, and you're ahead or very close to being ahead uh, on the last turn leader is just an unstoppable force so i think one way to bring this in line a little bit is to just bring that power level down so keeping the energy the same and bring the power down to three with bringing the power down to three it's going to be a lot easier to beat this card uh, you're going to have more power early that you can do that calculation or am i three power ahead in this lane if the leader comes down can i beat it um, however, keeping the card text exactly the same, I think is worthwhile as well. I don't think there's any changes there that could be made to, it would really just change how the entire card works. So I like it how it is, just bring that power level down. I think it'd be a good spot. Last up, we have a card that I love to play that I think is really fun. Um, I do think it is maybe just very, very slightly overpowered, um, with all the support of all these other cards. I think it is, uh too good as is the downside of the card is not as much as you would think with the support cards that it has so that card is destroyer which the on reveal is destroyer of the card so it feels like a big downside but with armor and professor x and cosmo in the deck destroyer does feel a little bit overpowered um, so i would say that it might not need a nerf if we do get that cosmo nerf because i think cosmo is a big enabler of this card um, but Shang-Chi is like one of the biggest counters as well. Cosmo stops that, allows Destroyer to come down. You can't counter this card on the final turn, even if you don't have priority. But other than that, I do think it would be good to keep the energy level the same, obviously. We're not going to make it 5, but to bring it down to 15 power. I think that would bring it a little bit more in line. It was previously 14 power, which was considered too weak. Uh, 15 power is still very strong, um, but this one I think is on the line of not needing a nerf. However, I'd be fine if they kept it. I love this card, honestly. <laughs> and I think that rounds out all the cards that I would currently nerf. I don't think there's anything else that is too much out of line. I think they did a great job with their previous balance patches as um, keeping cards that seemed too powerful and nerfed them to a pretty good spot. There are a couple of cards I could use, maybe a little bit of buffs. I think the only other card that could potentially have some issues is Dracula, but this card I think um, is in a good spot. It, it does create huge power swings that are kind of unstoppable, but it, it is around an entire deck archetype that you have to build up to um, at the end, and that kind of would if you nerf Dracula too much, I think it would hurt that archetype. And considering that Dracula is a zero cost already, and it just has the power of whatever card it discards, that means that you can't nerf the power on the card. I think making it a five drop wouldn't really do much. But I do think that this card has potential to be busted. I think if they fix the interaction with Apocalypse when it's discarded by Dracula, adding that extra discarded power to Dracula, if that was fixed and it added whatever power it was before, I think Dracula would be in line. So it's not necessarily changing the card, but rather fixing that interaction. But other than that, I think all the other cards are in a pretty good spot. Nothing's too powerful, I think. As, as you saw, even a lot of the nerfs that I talked about, none of them really were big changes to these cards. I think the biggest changes are the ones that add energy cost. I think the ones that are just nerfing the power really aren't going to be that big of tweaks, but making something cost one more energy, I think is a big deal. So like the Shang-Chi nerf, the Cosmo nerf, the Devil Dinosaur nerf especially, I think those would really shift the metagame a little bit more. And I think those would make it a little bit healthier as well. Um, it would definitely clean up a lot of the lower level play that is dominated by the Dinosaur. Um, but at the same time, I think it would be for the good of the game. But yeah, thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe if you made it to the end of this video. <laughs>